Hello everyone, this is just a follow-up tutorial for the passing butter robot from Rick and Morty. Well, let's get started with the parts lids. A nice pipe remote control mini car, a micro servo motor, the 3D printed parts, two wires, one red, one yellow, and a rubber band. The base of the robot is the mini tank. It comes apart very easy. I had already removed the screws and disconnected the wires. The hard part will be to get to the camera, for that you need to remove this pin. Now remove these two wires from the gearbox, we are going to need them later on. Now let's take apart the servo. We will cut all the wires and sorry the two wires we have removed from the gearbox. And after all it's done it should look like this. Connect the modified servo and the camera back to the remote control tank. Using the app on your phone, we will connect to it and make sure everything works. By pressing the down button, the motor should move to the left. If not, swap the wire which is soldered on the servo motor. Attach the body to the base. The taller part should be towards the three dots. Secure the two parts together so using the screws from the top base will remove from the tank. Hot glue the servo motor to the body. Then attach the neck to the body the T will go towards the higher part of the body. Pass the wires for the camera. Then connect the rubber band through the neck. Then using a piece of string, pass the rubber band through the body and attach it to the base. That will work as a counterweight for the head. Using some hot glue, we will attach the rest of the parts. Let's attach everything together and let's see how it works. If after putting everything together it falls and does not move back up, you need to adjust the rubber band tension or the servo arm it needs to be adjusted in a different angle. After it's moving, let's close everything up and run some tests. 